Do I have anything on my face? <laughs> I do. Diapers, nappies, butt napkins, whatever you want to call them, these suckers have been part of my every single day for the last five years. Jacob is nearly out of them, but not quite. My best friend is having a baby, and I thought, I want to make her something sweet, but I don't want to stick to the pacifiers and the onesies and all of those sweet, gorgeous, fun things that come with having a baby. I'm going to make her a treat that shows her what she's really in for with kind of a sweet spin. We're gonna make poopy diaper cookies with different types of poop. Because you never know what you're gonna expect with a newborn. <laughs> to make your disgustingly delicious cookies, you're going to of course need cookie dough and I'll leave a link to my recipe down below. You can also pick it up in the Sweet Celebrations cookbook if you haven't already ordered a copy. You'll need a little extra flour for rolling out, a rolling pin, some snap seal bags, a pair of scissors and an X-Acto knife, parchment paper, a nail file for neatening up those edges, some powdered sugar, white fondant, paint brushes and luster dust in silver, some black candy coloring, a nice large round cookie cutter, a little honey, some white candy melts, and your choice of filling. I went with Nutella and peanut butter, but I think there's a few options here. I also wanted to make this a little bit easier for you. I mean, I know not everybody has these at home and they're kind of an awkward shape, so, I made you a diaper template. I'll leave a link to that down below as well. First, let's roll out our dough and get these poopy diapers moving. First up, you want to sprinkle down a generous amount of flour. Then you're going to roll out your cookie dough. Don't go too thick here because you're going to have three cookies stacked on top of each other. You want to cut three circles and don't worry if they're not perfect circles and then stack them on top of each other. You can cut away the very top section, which is why it doesn't matter if those circles weren't complete when you started. And then using that same circle cutter, cut out just a very small leg hole on each side. Doing this in a stack makes sure that all of your cookies are exactly the same size and dimension and you don't have to guess as much. Separate the cookies out, lay them on a tray lined with some parchment, and then you wanna flip one of the cookies in each set of three. One's gonna be the back side of the diaper and one's gonna be the front side. For the center cookie, I'm gonna use a smaller circle cutter just to cut small circles and basically hollow out the inside of it. I use a circle cutter here because a knife tends to drag and it'll pull your cookie out of shape. Place those off into a moderate oven for between seven and 10 minutes until they just start to go golden brown around the edges. Coming back from the oven, you wanna let your cookies completely cool. I'm gonna take a little bit of my white candy melt, pop it into a snap seal bag and snip off a very small fine tip. By flipping the cookies, you avoid having this kind of ugly side on the outside of your diapers and they turn around to make a really nice, neat set. Something like this. Only we know what's going inside. I'm gonna take just a nice thin line of my candy melt now and now you get to choose your filling. Yes, you could do lovely little pink sprinkles if you wanted a gender reveal, maybe a little blue, maybe a little surprise inside. We're gonna put a big surprise inside ours. I have Nutella and I also have some crunchy peanut butter. I kind of thought if you're a newborn phase, you could also make like a white chocolate ganache, color it kind of a mustardy color. So you've got a good variety of textures, colors and stages of infancy. For your peanut butter, because it's crunchy, you need quite a generous tip cut off. Nutella, you can go slightly smaller and we're gonna fill our diapers. This is so wrong, it's right. Ah, oh, Jacob! Delicious poo! Delicious poo! Level it off. We don't wanna have any kind of an explosion or a, a sidewall leakage. For those darker days, we've got Nutella. I feel like you could also do Nutella with kind of a peanut buttery swirl. I mean, some days, who knows what's gonna go in there. A little bit more of my candy melt. Try and stick relatively close to your inside edges here so that it doesn't come out too much over the outside of your nappy. And sandwich in your delicious diaper fillings. Oh, this is so disgusting. 
but they smell amazing. Unlike the one that I was faced with this morning. Our diaper cookies are made and they are dirty, filthy little diapers, but they're not finished yet. These are very simple to decorate. All you're gonna need is a little bit of fondant and some pins. Obviously we can't use real pins here, but I'm gonna take a tiny bit of black food coloring and just stir it through my white candy melts. Make this like a really light gray color because that's just gonna help our luster dust when we give them the silver shimmery effect. You don't need very much of this and you do wanna cut a very, very, very small fine tip. These little pins are super small. So to make your little pins, kind of just make like a dot at one end and a dot at the other and then join them together with two long streaks. You can give your parchment a couple of nice little taps which will just help to smooth things off. Set those at room temperature so they don't curl and then you can pop them in the fridge just to make them really nice and firm. Two of mine didn't make the grade so I've got my four best. I'm just gonna brush them with a little bit of silver shimmer or luster. Cookies are made, poops inside, safety pins are ready and now it's time to cover our diapers. If you're a mum, you will have done this a million times. If you're not, watch and learn. This is what you've got ahead of you. Roll out some fondant really nice and thin. Sprinkle down a little powdered sugar first so it doesn't stick to the bench. And we want this really nice and thin. You can freehand cut your diaper if you like. If you're experienced like me, you'll know they're all about this shape. But if you have not yet done the diaper duty, we also made you a template. So you can cut around the template and use that for a perfect diaper pattern. And now we cut all the way around our template. So lifting this guy off, you should have your template and a nice little cut out diaper looking pattern, I guess. We're basically seamstresses. Excuse me, what's what? inside? What's inside what? That. What do you think it could be? Nothing. Does it sound like anything? Does it smell like anything? It only smells like a cookie. I'll give you some clues. You've definitely seen it before. You've definitely done it before. And I have to see it still pretty much every day. Any guesses? Book cookies. Book cookies? What do you call it, a diaper or a nappy? Nappy. Nappy. What do you call it, a diaper or a nappy? All right, removing that from your head, as stylish as it is. Now we have a job to do. These are diaper cookies and I need to put an actual nappy on them. So we need to brush them with some honey. You wanna help? Yeah. All right, me too. Brush your sugar cookies all over the front and the back and a little bit between the legs with some of that honey. Can you take off the plastic and take off the template? I got dirty diaper on my hands. Why are you never this helpful when I have actual nappies to change? <laughs> Where are you when Jacob's got a dirty diaper? On goes... The diaper cookie. The diaper cookie. And then you're going to take your diaper and wrap it around, bringing the little tapered edges to the front and using a little bit more honey to stick them down. All right, normally I don't love diaper duty, but in this case I'm making an exception. This is so cute. You can leave it like that, but I'm gonna add some little safety pins because I feel like even though modern day diapers mainly have little tabs, they just look cuter with pins. I chilled my pins in the fridge for a little bit simply so that I can hold them for longer because they're very thin and you'll melt them much quicker than you think. And then I like to do just a little bit of white so it looks like they've actually gone through the fabric. Diaper duty complete. Only you and I know our little hidden surprise inside. If you love this idea, but you hate the thought of making your diapers dirty, feel free to use it as a fun pinata cookie, a gender reveal, or pretty much whatever you like. But I think this is a really cute way to give parents a taste of what they're actually in for, but at least with kind of a sweet twist. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do for two new videos every week. And as always, thanks very much for watching. Ready? Yeah. What do you think's in there? <gasps> Lucky! Poo! Poo! Eel. Eel. Yuck. Eel. 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 Eel.
shampoo. 